Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video because it has been so highly requested. I've been getting a ton of messages on YouTube, on Instagram about what I have been doing to get back into shape really quickly after having a baby. So if you guys are new to my channel, I had a baby girl a little bit less than six months ago. I cannot even believe that Ari is going to be six months in a few days. That is crazy. I literally feel like I just had her yesterday and the last six months have honestly been the most incredible. Very, very difficult and challenging, probably the most challenging six months of my entire life, but also the most amazing, the most fulfilling, the most life-changing six months of my entire life. And I cannot even remember what my life was like before I had Ari. So as much as I'm so sad that she is already six months old, she is so, such an amazing, sweet and funny and intelligent and strong little girl. It is crazy. She is already rolling over from belly to back and back to belly. She is trying to crawl now. She is crawling backwards already, which apparently is very normal. And they start crawling backwards before they start crawling forwards so at the moment we're still crawling in the backwards direction but hopefully that will change very soon and she just recently started sitting up a few days ago she said mama and mom a few times which was one of the most incredible feelings in the entire world and yesterday she said pa for the first time so she is just so amazing she's growing so fast and every single day i am just so fascinated by her and so amazed by how fast she is developing and, and growing and getting stronger and stronger every day. So honestly, it just made this entire quarantine experience that we're all going through right now a little bit easier, actually a lot easier if I'm honest, for myself and my husband. And we have just been enjoying and making the most of all of the time that we've been having with her. I'm not gonna lie, it's been extremely difficult to to balance being a stay-at-home mom and being a working mom and also trying to give Ari as much of my attention as I possibly can, but somehow I've been making it work. Hopefully I can keep going for as long as I can. So a couple months ago, I did do a uh, postpartum weight loss journey update video where I shared with you guys what I did to lose 30 pounds of baby weight in three months. In that video, I shared with you pretty much everything that I was doing since I got out of the hospital. So I'm not gonna go over a lot of those things in this video just because I don't want to repeat myself. So if you guys do wanna check out that video i'll link it down below in today's video i'm going to focus mainly on what i have been doing in terms of uh, fitness and nutrition and since i posted that video i have lost the remaining of the baby weight i would say that i'm pretty much back at my pre-pregnancy weight in fact if anything i think i am in better shape now than i was pre-pregnancy i feel a lot more fit i feel a lot stronger maybe it's because because I'm schlepping around 17 and a half pounds of love all around the house. Who knows? Actually, I do know. It's because I've been working my butt off. So I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my secrets on what I have been doing to get my body back after having a baby and also how I got abs. I can promise you I did not have such nice abs before I had a baby and now I do. So without further ado, let's just hop right in. All right, so the first subject that I want to talk about, and in my opinion, is probably the most important component of all of this, of trying to get into the best shape of your life, and that is nutrition. So as I mentioned, I am a stay-at-home mom. I am a working mom. I am also a wife. There's a lot of things around the house that need to be done, such as laundry and dishes and baby bottle washing, and I am the one who takes care of all of those things. So my time is very, very limited. Before I had Ari, I had the luxury of cooking for myself and my husband. And at the time I didn't see it as a luxury, but now I do because I have zero time in my day to prepare a home cooked meal, which is why I am so, so grateful 
that we are able to have a meal delivery service such as on the run meals delivered to us and everything is already prepared everything is already portioned out properly and all i have to do is warm it up in a pan and serve now i totally understand that not everybody has the option to do this but for myself and my husband it was really really important to find a meal delivery service that not only tasted good but that was healthy that was dairy free that was gluten free because i have a gluten intolerance and that is really well balanced and for me it was also really really important to find meals that would provide me with the necessary nutrition so that i could feel good about myself but also make sure that i'm keeping my breast milk supply up because i'm still exclusively breastfeeding my baby so we tried a couple of meal delivery services in the toronto area we are located in toronto and hands down the best meal delivery service we have ever ever tried in our area is called otr meals or on the run meals all of their meals are perfectly portioned out and as i mentioned they're healthy they're nutritious they're gluten-free dairy-free and they have a new menu that comes out every week and what i like about their menu is that you can customize the menu options so for example um, if they have like a chicken dish but you don't eat chicken whether it's a preference or a dietary restriction or whatever it may be they will always 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 have a vegan or vegetarian alternative for that so you can totally customize your menu whichever way you want and that is literally what we have been doing almost since the day that Ari was born. The first few weeks we were trying to figure it out because we were testing out a few other meal delivery services that we weren't that big fans of and we were doing a lot of takeout and Vlad's mom was cooking for us a lot so that's what we were doing in the beginning but ever since we discovered OTR we've been using them exclusively and we've also been using a, a grocery delivery service to deliver some like odds and ends that we would need for for example snacks and stuff and once in a while I will make a smoothie or like a yogurt bowl for example and I like to have fresh fruit and at home so that's what we would use the grocery delivery services for so majority of our meals i would say 90 percent of our meals come from otr and i cannot recommend them enough so if you guys are in the gta or toronto area i'm going to link them down below for you guys so you can check them out i also have a discount code with them this is not an affiliate code i'm just sharing them because i genuinely love them and we literally use them every single day um, and you can get 25 percent off your order if you want to try them out so i'm going to leave all of that information in my description box down below and also across the screen so when it comes to my personal nutrition i like to focus a lot on healthy fats and lean proteins and good complex carbs. So majority of my meals will have a lean protein such as chicken or tofu or shrimps and I will usually have a healthy fat. Now with OTR, they incorporate healthy fats into the meal so they will use like a dressing or a sauce with a healthy fat or oils in the mornings i usually make my own breakfast and i will have like eggs with avocado for example uh, coconut yogurt and all of those foods are a really good source of healthy fats and the fats that are considered healthy fats are unsaturated fats some examples of unsaturated fats are avocado um, fish nuts and seeds all of those are really really good not only for breast milk production if you are breastfeeding like i am but also to maintain healthy nails hair and skin and all of that good stuff and then i will always 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 have a side of complex carbs whether it is quinoa for example or brown rice pasta or vegetables most of the time i load my plate up with vegetables i will steal vlad's vegetables from his otr meal and add them onto mine because he doesn't love vegetables so much and i do so that's pretty much what i have been doing and what i have been eating for the last i would say four or five months or so the next thing i have been doing is cardio four to five times a week now i am very very grateful 
grateful that we have a treadmill in our basement. It's not the best treadmill, but it's a working treadmill. So I definitely take advantage of that and try to go for a walk on my treadmill for 30 to 45 minutes at a time, about four to five times a week if I can. I usually try to incorporate this while Ari is napping or while Vlad is watching her. I take that time to really disconnect from everything else in the world and I listen to a podcast. And for me, it's a really enjoyable kind of mental escape from everything else that is going on in my life. And cardio is really, really good, not only for burning calories, but it also is really amazing for your overall heart health. Personally, I don't really care about those things. For me, walking is just like a mental escape. It's such a huge stress reliever for me. When the weather is warm, I will take Ariel, put her in the stroller, and I'll go for a walk um, around just our block just to get some movement in and it honestly makes such a world of a difference so the next thing i wanted to share with you guys has probably made one of the biggest impacts in the overall way that i look and feel and that is at home workouts if you guys follow me over on instagram you would know that i am a huge fan of melissa wood i share her workouts on my instagram a lot at least once or twice a week i think um and i'm just such a huge fan every time i do one of her workouts i just feel so good and so like re-energized after the workout the last thing i want right now especially being a new mom is to finish a workout and just feel depleted and just feel exhausted like i just need to take a two hour nap and i never ever ever feel like that after doing a melissa wood workout so i have been doing her workouts a couple of times a week um, a couple of times a week i will also throw in my own body weight workouts for those of you who don't know i used to be a personal trainer a long time ago when I was um, in university actually and my mom is a personal trainer so I know a lot about fitness and nutrition I know how to put together workouts to really customize them to my personal needs and wants so I have been doing that a couple of times a week as well whenever I have time sometimes it's 10 minutes sometimes it's 30 minutes it really just depends on how much time I have in the day the key is to be consistent and the key is to get in some kind of movement every single day and that is something that I have been committed to and I think has made all the world of a difference not only for myself physically but most importantly mentally as well and the thing that I love about working out at home is the main thing is I don't have to go to the gym, which is incredible, especially now that we're all stuck at home and we have nowhere to go. The best thing you can do for your mind and body is just to get in some kind of movement at home. And Melissa Wood is a great app for that. I know there's a lot of resources for free on YouTube as well. I know that a lot of um, pages on Instagram, such as Revolve, are doing free um, Instagram live workouts that you can do from home as well. So there are an abundance of different options out there you just have to look for them and just be committed to it and just be consistent and with majority of these workouts you can do everything with your own body weight that's what i was doing for the first couple of months and only a couple of months ago i started to incorporate one pound uh, weights and uh, resistance bands and that's literally all the equipment that i use at home aside from my yoga mat of course so the next thing that i've been doing that i definitely think has helped with the weight loss as well but it's also a necessity especially if you are breastfeeding and that is drinking a lot of water now i think for majority of people, it's recommended to drink three to four liters of water a day, or is it two to three liters of water a day? I don't even remember. But your girl drinks five to six liters of water a day. And I know that that might sound like an absurd amount of water, and it is. And for me, normally, that is just a crazy amount of water to consume in one day. But I feel like in order to make sure that I keep my breast milk supply up, I need to drink that amount of water. Not only that, but for me personally, when I'm breastfeeding, I get so 
thirsty. I'm thirsty all the time. So I have to have a bottle of water beside me at all times of the day. So that has been really important, not only for my breast milk supply, but also I really do believe that it helps um, your body metabolize everything a lot better. So those are the main things that I would say have made the biggest impact in helping me get back to my pre-baby body weight, if you will. Um, but I'm sure you guys are gonna ask, but do you snack? Of course I snack. I am a human. I love to snack. Um, luckily, I do not have a sweet tooth. I am that person that prefers like salty, um, spicy, savory foods over sweet things. So sugar for me is not such a problem. I know that sugar, it can be a problem for a lot of people. It is a drug. It is very addictive. So if you can try to break the sugar habit sooner than later, but when I am craving a snack and that's pretty much on a daily basis, I try to opt for healthier options. So one of my favorite snacks is popcorn. Um, I try to look for a brand that is clean, has very, very minimal ingredients, um, and that's organic. I also like snacking on these chips called Paqui or Paki. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce them, but they are amazing. They're so highly addictive, very, very dangerous if you have no portion control. I have to watch myself a lot with these chips as well, but the Mucho Nacho flavor, I believe it's called, is insanity and if i do want something sweet once in a while i'll usually just make myself a bowl of coconut yogurt with some fresh fruit and granola on top and drizzle it with a little bit of honey and that will be my dessert if you will so that's what i've been doing for my healthy snacking and honestly i get so much enjoyment out of it i look forward to these snacks because i don't feel deprived whatsoever so hopefully that will give you guys some inspiration uh, for healthy snacking because i know that for a lot of people snacking especially now when you are stuck at home with a hopefully fully stocked pantry and fridge hopefully you guys are not in a deficit of anything i know how hard it is to get your hands on certain things nowadays so if you are one of those people a great hack is just to portion out your snack instead of eating your snack right out of the bag for example you can just portion out how much you want to eat into a bowl and just eat directly from the bowl so that is pretty much everything in terms of fitness and nutrition that I have been doing to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. If you guys have any other questions or if I missed something that you're not sure about or you want clarification on something that I talked about in this video and didn't explain well enough, I got mom brain sometimes, it happens. Just let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to respond to you guys. I really hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe again i want to thank you guys so much for you know hanging out with me and watching my videos during this crazy time and trusting me to be your source of entertainment hopefully coming to my videos and watching my videos provide you with a positive uplifting experience and a good distraction from everything that's going on in the world and yeah that is everything that i wanted to cover in today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful as always it would mean so much to me if you would give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one.